Hello guys, in today's video we are going to take a look at modifying the clevis hitch to fix the problems that we identified in the last video. Uh, mostly the angle at the front, that's just, uh, it's too straight, we need to add a bit of a curve downwards so that the uh, drawbar from your trailer isn't putting too much pressure on the plastic. So the way I've decided to add this uh, angle into the model is by splitting the model in half. So to do that, I have created a plane. Then I've used that plane as a cutting tool to just slice the body into two separate bodies, which you can see now. The next thing I'm going to do is pivot the left half down but we have to change the pivoting point because we only wanted to pivot at the intersection of the two bodies at the very bottom of the of the body so you can see me selecting uh, that line that's running along uh, the bottom side of the of the cut so now i've selected correct pivot point but you're gonna see I make a mistake here I go straight to change the angle in our option box but what I haven't done is accept the new location of the pivot point so now I hit the green tick and that uh, secures the pivot point in place and now when we change the angle we are actually moving the body so before we hit the green tick all we were doing was adjusting the position of the pivot point we were just adjusting the angle of the pivot point. Well, now we've added in the angle that we want, but we have a few features we need to remove so that we can uh, fill in the gap. So first thing to go is these fillets, and that leaves us with a straight surface that we can hopefully uh, join to the new surface. It's the loft tool that we use to fill in the gap between the two faces here. I don't seem to have recorded it but I'm guessing I probably sketched on the right hand face so that it had the same shape, the same uh, corners as the, or the same curved corners as the left hand side because it, I'm pretty sure you need the two faces pretty much to match to get a, a good good laugh between the faces. There's a lot of weird angles in this now after doing this loft so uh, it probably would have been simpler to just cut the left hand side off altogether and completely redraw it from scratch. You could have uh, created a plane in the center and just uh, sketched the profile of the, of the hitch extruded it both directions and then pick the surface on the top to put your uh, your fillets in to give you the curved edges or you, you could have just filleted the, the edges either but I did it this way just to try and do something a little bit different rather than just uh, sketching again hopefully hopefully you're enjoying the 3d build series if you are don't forget to hit the like button and of course don't forget to hit subscribe and get the bell on so that you don't miss out on the next video i'm just sorting out a few angles here so it'll probably take a little while so i'll speed the video along until i get myself into trouble again I filled in some of the gaps on the top and the bottom of the mod, but you can see there's a lot of these weird little sections where it's not gone perfectly straight, there's just fillets there that, that shouldn't be there really. And when we look at the loft, the loft had actually failed, or it partially failed, there was a warning there. When we opened it and didn't actually do anything, it completely failed. So now we need to figure out why. And if you remember at the start, I 
or when we first looked at the loft I said I thought I had sketched something on the right hand side well now that the curves are gone from the left hand side it doesn't match the right hand side anymore the right hand side still has the curves so we need to get rid of those so that we can uh, get the loft to go from a straight edge to a straight edge That fixes the fillets on the top, we've deleted them and replaced them but when we look at the bottom down along the intersecting line there is still fillets so we're going to have to sort those out too. And now we just need to redo the loft. And because the corners now all match, that's no problem, it just lofts straight across. So now I'm just taking a look at the model to you know see how does it look. Am I happy enough with it? But at the top there yeah, I don't like that bit of hump that's in it, so I'm gonna try and do something to get rid of that. I tried a few different uh, angles there, a few different looks until I finally settled on something that I like. This this one is uh, something that I'm, I'm happy with. So now I'll go and put a few fillets around the edges just to try and uh, just to make it look a little bit better. I play around here with a few different uh, a few different fillet sizes and in a few different positions just until I find something that I'm happy with. That's the great thing about CAD, you can keep uh, changing things very easily without needing to, to actually physically uh, make it. You can test out your ideas fairly quickly. So this is what I sent and done and I'm quite happy with that. So that'll be for the printer. And we'll follow up with that in another video. If you want to discuss the build you can do so below the video or you can head on over to the forum on the website. But that's all I have for this video. Hopefully it won't be too long until we are testing uh, the new design. That's all for today so thanks very much for watching.